Hello and welcome back. Welcome back to Courage to Change. And you are loved. We're doing our daily readings. And these readings are from Al-Anon, which help those family members and friends with their own personal healing journey because they have someone in their life that is dealing with an addiction. And the, our struggle's real. I know it firsthand. At the loss of a family member due to addiction, I have to do something. And this is my something. And not only is this something powerful, it's helping me heal doing these readings. And I'm hoping it will also help you heal. And if you know anyone that would benefit from this, please tell them to tune in on a daily basis. This is Courage to Change, and we're reading for November 23rd. How often have I had a dream I longed to pursue but quit before I started because it seemed too enormous of a task to attempt? Going back to school, moving, taking a trip, changing jobs, all these and many other goals can seem overwhelming at first. Al-Anon reminds me to keep it simple. Instead of approaching the task as a whole, I can simplify it by taking only one step at a time. I can gather information and do nothing more. Then when I'm ready, I can take the project further. That takes some of the pressure off, having to know all the answers and solve every problem that may arise before I've even begun. I am also free to trying something and then change my mind. I do not have to make a lifetime commitment before I even know whether or not my goal is desirable. My plans may involve many actions and many risks, but I don't have to tackle them all today. I can take my time and move step by step at my own pace by focusing on one thing at a time. The impossible can become likely if I keep it simple. Today's reminder with the help of Al-Anon and my higher power, I am capable of many things that I could not even have considered before. I may even be capable of pursuing my heart's desire. And a quote from Eugene Ware, all glory comes from daring to begin. There's a number of messages in there. And one is daring to begin, having the courage to change. Sometimes we become so resistant and we create these blockers, we create brick walls, we We actually hold ourselves back between our thoughts and our emotions and what we're going through. We hinder our own growth. And one of the messages in there is all we have to do is just begin. And the key component is keep it simple. We tend to overcomplicate things. And would you not agree? That once we get it in our head, we start to overanalyze it, and we start to think it all through, and we keep analyzing it, we keep thinking about it, and we end up actually probably talking ourselves out of doing something. We might be too much in here. What we need to do is be more in here. Be in our heart. This is our emotional center. And yes, it's gone through a lot and maybe we've shut it off because we don't want to feel anymore because we feel so much pain. 
in anger and frustration because of our loved ones. Well, that can stop. Connect here. It's okay to have some of this, but not all of it, right? We want to connect the head and the heart. Let's not overcomplicate things. Let's keep it simple, one step at a time. And what's interesting is it is one day at a time with Eleanor. And when you're embarking on a new project, it's one step at a time. Be kind to yourself. Have a little grace and ease with who you are and what you want to do. And just know that you're doing 1% better each and every day. Your, her, your journey matters. Make it a good one. It doesn't have to be a struggle. It doesn't have to be a struggle. This is Courage to Change, November 23rd, and remember, you 